Good morning. And if you don't know already, it's a special Platinum Jubilee weekend for Her Majesty the Queen. Today we are going to look at a passage from the Bible which was chosen for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And we're going to read from the prophet Micah, chapter 6, verses 6 to 8. You say, what can I bring with me when I come before the Lord? What can I bring when I bow down before God on high? Should I come before the Lord with burnt offerings, with year-old calves? Will the Lord be pleased with 1,000 male sheep? Will he be pleased with 10,000 rivers of oil? Should I give my first child for the evil I have done? Should I give my very own child for my sin? The Lord has told you what is good. He has told you what he wants from you. Do what is right to other people. Love being kind to others and live humbly trusting your God. So um, I put my headphones on because we're having some work done in, onto our roof today. So if you hear some funny noises, some banging and crashing, that's what it is. I hope it isn't too disturbing. So I've got some pictures to show you. So this one, okay. do you know who this is? Of course it's the Queen, isn't it? And that's what she looks like today. But I've got some other pictures to show you. Who can tell me how many years she's been Queen? Do you know how many years? It's 70, 70 years. So, which means it was 1952 when she became queen. And I've got some more pictures to show you. I thought you'd like to see. <clears throat> this is the queen on the day she became queen. Queen Elizabeth. And... There she is. She looks a bit different to how she does now, doesn't she? But not that different. And I thought you'd like to see some pictures of the, the lovely golden carriage. It's just like a fairy tale carriage, isn't it? And there's also a picture of the queen in the carriage with her husband. There's a picture just before she gets crowned, look. There we go. So in 1952, when she became queen, there was a special service, a coronation held that day. And at the service, there were several symbols given to the new queen. Each symbol is to help her remember something important. So, let's have a look. So I've got some pictures of some of them. So, you can see there's the crown. There's two different crowns there. This one at the top is... St Edward's crown and the one at the bottom is the crown of, oh, is, sorry, is, let's get it right, is the Imperial State crown. So this one's King Edmund's crown and this is the in, in, Imperial State crown. And, oh, there's a picture hiding in there. And there you have the orb. And I wonder what that funny thing is. Let's have a look and see what it's called. It's called the ampulla, which holds the anointing oil. So, and there's lots of swords, isn't there? And there's one particular sword that we're interested in today. 
which is this one on the end, number 10. So that one there, where is it? Which end am I at? Want to say that one? Is that right? Yes, that one there. Now there's something different about that sword, and I don't know if you can see. Probably not, but it doesn't have a sharp tip, does it? And this is the sword of katana. So let me tell you about that. So the sword of katana is not sharp and pointed and it's given to the new queen with a broken tip and it's broken on purpose to remind her of something. Why do you think it could be broken on purpose? It's not much good if it's broken, is it? So the broken sword might remind the queen to be merciful or forgiving. So it actually has the name katana which means the sword of mercy and the broken tip reminds the queen that she mustn't be cruel she has to be merciful she must find ways to bring peace not hardship in her judgments just like the prophet micah said as we heard read what does your god require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your god so let's have a prayer now God of forgiveness, thank you for reminding the Queen and us that we should not be cruel or hurtful, but rather be merciful, acting with justice and kindness. Amen. And let's finish by saying the grace together. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. That's it for today. If you're able to come along to church this weekend, I will bring some of my books with me and you can have a look through. Goodbye for now.